There is this one that I love. I think she's a Nigerian artist, a gospel artist, who owns this song. And this song is, I will pray.
just like you can communicate with joy, the way you can communicate with your friends is the way you can communicate to God. Instead of giving burden to other people, remember people are having their challenges. Not only you who is taking the challenges to them, they are all facing challenges. Let us learn how to pray to God. And God is going to give you those friends that you will communicate with and they will pray for you. They will include you in their prayers. But do not think that all your friends will be praying for you. I thank God for some of my friends. I will not wish on their names because they are not few. They are many. Those friends of mine have stood with me. They told me, Julie, we pray, we are going to conquer. We pray God is going to deliver us. And seriously, when we were praying, God showed me some of the Bible verses that made me strong, that made me stand still, that passed me through that depression that I was in, that mind, minded back my broken heart. Because the Bible verses I want to share with you are to mind your broken heart. And before we continue, let me just read you a small quote here. Dealing with a broken heart can often feel as if there is nothing that, that can fix it, regardless of the cause. However, the one thing that is true is about those feelings is that God is one and his love can help you get through them. Praise God. Praise Jesus. God is one. God's word and his love can help us get through depression, can help us get through those troubles, can help us get through those situations, those challenges, those circumstances that you can't manage by your own. Because my dear, depression is real. Depression can kill. Depression can take your life. Let us continue. This Bible verse is that I encountered, that God showed to me. I swear God just, God, I, when I was passing through my Bible, I got the Bible verses. And I said, I have to share with my, my people. Because I know we are passing in a lot. We are passing in a lot and we cannot tell to our, to our friends. We are keeping it for ourselves. And it can end up leading us to death because depression kills. Let us read in the book of Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5 to 6. It says, Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have. Because God has said, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. So we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper and I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? My dear sister, my dear brothers, let us keep our lives Free from the love of money. Some of us of the times depression is really from this car issue of money. It's really from this car issue of money when you're lacking money to complete your your deals, your projects. You can be depressed. Trust me. You can be depressed. And the Bible is here telling us that we have to live free from the love of money and be contented with what we have. Let us be contented with what we have. We have read in the book of Hebrews. My dear, just go and read it, meditate on it, and you will understand it. Because me, it helped me. I was depressed when I need money, but I don't know where to get money. I need to accomplish what I had to accomplish. But I say, I reached to, uh, to Adam's state and I said, you know, what I have is enough. What I have will get me done with what I'm doing. And truly, it was as I spoke to myself. I completed 
what I was doing. Yeah, even though I didn't finish it the way it, uh, to, to the, as in, even though I didn't complete it as I wanted, but at least when I read this Bible verses, this Bible verse, I stood still and I said, I finished you. And I trust God that He's going to add on me. I left the Lord and there I was out. You read it first. Our second verse is in the book of Psalm, Psalms chapter 55, verse 23. And it's, it says, Cast your burdens on the Lord, and He will sustain you. He will never allow the righteous to be shaken. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Cast your burdens unto the Lord. He will sustain you. He will never allow the righteous to be shaken. If you surrender your projects, you surrender your problems, you surrender your challenges to God, trust me, you're not going to be shaken with those challenges. You're not going to be shaken with that situation because God cares for you. I know we even used to sing this song when we were still in, uh, in, um, in, in what? In, in church choir when we are still young. Eh? We used to sing this, cast your burdens unto Jesus for he cares for you. My dear, he cares for us. Let us surrender all. Let us cast all our burdens. And truly, who will sustain him? He will, we will never be shaken. Hallelujah. Let us read another Bible verse and now for it again. For his hunger, that is in the book of Psalms, chapter 30, verse 5. For his hunger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. I say I'm going to bring part two. This is part one. I'm going to bring more Bible verses that are going to keep us going, that are going to keep us going, that are going to give us the strength to accomplish that are going to keep us in the presence of God, that are not going to lead us into temptation because I've told you that when you are depressed, you can end up hanging yourself, you can end up poisoning yourself. So when you read the Bible verses and you meditate on it and you read on it, trust me sister, trust me brother, you're going to overcome that challenge. You're going to overcome that depression. I'm telling you, I'm going to share with you in part two other Bible verses because they were really many. I read many Bible verses and I meditated on them and I swear God has been faithful. God has really been faithful because he has been there for me, he has fought for me. I'm telling you, this is the last Bible verse that I'm sharing with you. For his hunger lasts only a moment. But his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. Rejoicing comes in the morning. You may be in that situation. Do not think that it's a permanent situation. It's temporary. Sister, it's temporary. That situation is temporary. Let me end with a simple Bible, with a simple prayer. Heavenly Father, we bring all our to you. We surrender ourselves to you, Lord. Father, give us the wisdom 